Hello and welcome. My name is John Crow. I'm a lecturer at the Northwest Regional College in Derry and today I'm going to give you um, a demonstration of my new course app that I have designed. Um, I designed this app to utilize a combination of smart and mobile technologies to give the student an extra resource both inside and outside the practical classroom to give direct access to a range of course materials independently. Um, the centerpiece of this is uh, the construction of uh, mobile accessible resources, which includes uh, the set, this centerpiece here, which is a cross-platform cross mobile app to support teaching and learning for my Professional Chef Diploma Level 3 course at NWRC. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run through some of the icons here that you would see um, on the app if, if you had it on a student's phone. I'm going to start very quickly here or briefly um, with the course information. If you click on the course information it takes you to, to another screen here. Um, so if you click on the course information, this one here, you can see that there's uh, four symbols here and this is to do with their practical units. Um, their veg and vegetarian food, their meat um, section, um, their poultry and game and then their fish and shellfish. So if we click on just one of these here, what it does, it takes you through then to another screen here and this gives a, an outline of what the student, what the outcomes is, from learn, they will learn from this unit, um, the practical skills, what they will come away with, their underpinning knowledge, what they will know by the end of the session, um, and it gives a clear ind indication of what the student will learn and take away from this. Um, if we click back then it takes us back, um, and if you want to click on the veg there, once again, it gives a unit number, it gives uh, advanced skills for uh, techniques in producing veg and vegetarian dishes. And once again, the outcome, the practical skills, the underpinning knowledge, so the student has to hand what he or she will be, uh, be able to achieve. So we click back on that, and we go back again. Second one here is course timetable. So it runs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So they can see at a glance what classes they have, um, who they have, what classroom it's in, so on and so forth. So it's very um, straightforward again, and it's easy, it's mobile. Uh, course assignments. So their um, assignments there are broken down into tasks, and they have hand-in um, dates, week 16, week 17. Uh, and it's clear and concise and then they can't miss any deadlines because obviously if they have it on their phone then they will have access to it. Um, course test dates then is so obviously this would be the practical end and it's broken down into their assessments and their synoptics, test dates, uh, week 9, week 14, it gives the dates there, what they're doing on the date, the, the portions that they're doing. Uh, they will be aware of this um, because if we get three weeks notice and two weeks notice and they'll be training for this coming up to their test but um, it's just handy information that they have to date and it goes right down to the end. And we go back here and take us back to the, the home screen. Um, the ultimate aim of this resource is to um, support and enhance the learning experience. Um, with this we have developed um, a range of mobile accessible online resources to reinforce the learning of complex concepts um, and a smartphone application as you see here to assist learners in their course induction and obviously the ongoing communication with their course tutors and coordinators. Um, five unique selling points about this um, obviously contributes to the introduction of IT to traditional base skill areas. Um, it supports cross-curricular course integration it provides another form of stimulus for students. Um, a great selling point, 24-7 access uh, to the mobile content and, like I said, improve communication and ultimately student retention. Um, and time is used more effectively when you're either in the kitchen or you're in a, um, a lab or, or, or a workshop situation. Um, this one here is just an RSS feed that we've set up I've set up my own one here, so if there's any anything that I need to contact them about, they click into that and it comes up straight away. Um, if anything has changed, or maybe a class has been cancelled, or just to, to remind them that we're, we're on a we have a, a site trip organised and stuff like that. Um, hospitality news then, 
these three here restaurant news other useful feeds and hospitality news these are just industry feeds that i've uh, kind of gathered and put in here um and it's like a ticker tape there like if, if you go same as you go on to the bbc news website and it just brings up relevant stories um from a catering background for the students to to check out to keep them up to speed on what's happening in the industry so if we click back here to our main screen again uh, if we click on this one obviously we had to uh, include moodle and uh, this will take me into my moodle here and as you can see at the moment what we're doing is i've i've created a qr code i've embedded a qr code here um, so the students just have their qr code reader um, they scan the um, the QR code uh, it opens up and they bookmark it um, what I'm hoping to plan to do anyway for the next intake or September is that we will have it on iTunes or we'll have it on the Google Store so that we'll have it um, much more out there or we have it up on iTunes University so if you, you know their Moodle obviously is very very important to them um, I have a copy of uh, a book there that I wrote and produced or published myself um, that would be all industry uh, standard recipes uh, for my time in industry that are all there uh, they have links to the course books that they need um, a promotional video there for um, the course uh, and then there's different links there there's QR codes there for um, game and stuff like that um, research links um, craft guild associations uh, Unilever, Unilever uh, calculator for calories and stuff like that, and then more, a lot more information then to breaking down their their um, assignments and and, and uh, notes, recipes, and any content that is regarded important to them developing on on the course. So that's all they've access to that then from their smartphone as well. So if I just go back to to the home screen here on that. So if we come down here, then the sec the second set there um, is we we'll start in the middle here with course web links. Okay, so if we go here, I think obviously to be socially aware is very very important for students these days. Um, what we have to learn is we have to you know what we all want to do with this app is obviously to facilitate learning and to make learning limitless. Um, you know to to make learning autonomous and, and promote obviously promote independent learning. Um, in the kitchen or, or if we're in the lab or, or a resource room um, what I want to do because we're, a lot of it's kitchen based is like I said to introduce IT to a traditional uh, skill based area um, with this app and, and what I want to do is, is embrace the smartphone because it is modern technology it is a piece of equipment that every student has um, and, and every student more or less has an a, the up-to-date version of your iPhone or Android phone so it is basically a pocket computer now we're moving away from a resource room or a lab where they're sitting in front of a bank of computers and that's never going to happen in a practical situation that's why I've created this app because like I said they're carrying a computer in their pocket in the form of a smartphone not only you know we have to look at uh, that a smartphone or a phone is it isn't used predominantly for calling people now it is used to surf the net to watch youtube videos and as a as a as a resource as a as a computer like i said so why not use this and embrace this and that's again why i've created this app um also with with this app this the student has individually tailored course material designed to enhance their learning and also as a medium for self-development um, and that's why we have these social links on as well um, you know and what we have to remember is that we must re recognize that, that the student is comfortable with this type of learning because it is native to them okay now going back to these links here we click on this Facebook uh, here we go so we've created I've created here this uh, Facebook page for the professional chef diploma and this is obviously to for them to review their work um, that they may do in skills wherever the case may be or if they create dishes uh, to get them to comment to generate discussion to generate um, to them for them to review their work and and obviously uh, as uh, to to develop again uh, and to be critical 
to critically evaluate their own work and that's why and obviously um, to reflect the good work that is done in a practical situation um, and for reviewing work uh, we can also upload videos here as well if need be uh, at the moment it's, it's mainly pictures and stuff like that from some of their work and it's, it's, it's I think it's very very good to, to promote the, the course and to promote the students work as well I think it's very um, exciting and then there's a wee picture there of the students just for them to develop them as well okay so we just go back here um, like I said Lincoln I think it's very important I just stuck up uh, for this year I've stuck up my Lincoln page but I think it's very very important that the students are aware of the world around them um, and that um, they uh, they create their own um, their own persona and, and and put themselves out there because you know Twitter is 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 a new way of networking and it's very important that they network when they're in this industry and promote themselves. Uh, if I go back here, I also like I said I have a Twitter uh, account there that they can um, set up um, and into that there obviously Twitter is a great medium then for self promotion and developing yourself as well. It's great for finding jobs. Um, it's great for being a for people posting what is obviously happening in the world, happening in the industry, so I think it's 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 a very informative um, way of um, learning about the world. So that is there for them as well. So if we click home there again, so we have like I said, we have course links there. So web information there, that is just um, a list of of websites that um, they will find useful as they go through the course. Um, and there's direct links for them so when they're doing research and stuff like that that will help them there as well on their different assignments and stuff like that we click back home there again the course apps here the course apps is designed to that I think that they are for self-development again um, we have the chef's canteen uh, presentations uh, innovative and, and uh, motivational talks Hughes fish fight is to do about uh, sustainable fishing um, Whole Food Market is a, a recipe bank, and once again we have Vital Source there as well, which is the, the the books that they, the textbooks that they use on the course. They have direct access, mobile access, con, uh, direct access to the content of the books that they use. So um, we just click back home there, and we go on to videos. There's two types of videos here. We have um, useful videos here, and they're broken down metro style here, which is quite modern as well. So we can click on the game here, and they've got videos that are um, reflective of the skills that they need to acquire um, on the different sections there. And you can see there about um, game and stuff like that. And if we click back and back again, it takes us there. The iCook videos. And that will take us through to a list of videos there that I've created there for the course that support the course as well. Um, and they are review of dishes that they have to do for assignments and stuff like that. So they can watch the videos and they're done step by step, showing the skills that they need to acquire in order to um, pass their assessments. So we click back home again. And we just click home. Um, and, and that would be um, a basic breakdown of the app. What we want to do, obviously, is um, we want to give the students, like I said, 24-7 uh, um, content or access to content. Um, we want to create a student-focused learning culture. That's what I want to create, where the um, focus is on the students to reinforce the fundamentals of their craft. Um, they are valued. Uh, their work is valued and is given practical existence. Um, that by putting the dishes up on Facebook and and getting them to showcase their work, that they take pride in their work by adding the pictures, like I said themselves, um, that their work and experiences are shared through discussion again, and creating a shared workload and a a WIFM culture. W I I F M. What's in it for me? Um, that is a basic roundup of what this app does. Um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation um, and thank you for listening.